So hello friends, today I'm going to show you how to do policy routing in Linux. So basically what policy routing means that when you have multiple internet gateways, uh, you need to specify uh, which computer should uh, access internet through which route, alright? So let me go ahead and uh, show you my setup here. So uh, my gateway is a Raspberry Pi uh, computer. So its IP address is 523.13.254. So let's go ahead and check the configuration or rather uh, internet uh, routers in that um, Raspberry Pi computer. All right, so let me go ahead and connect to the gateway. So this is the gateway. So yes, yes. So now, if I run if config here, you see uh, this eth0, eth00, and uh, eth01, eth02. These four interfaces, and this one uh, real interface, and the other three virtual interfaces are correspond to a individual routing network in uh, our network all right so this is eth1 is the local network that we are using 5.23 range so when you let me maximize this when you check this so these addresses as you can see with my subnet mask these addresses are in the, these addresses are in without a doubt in different networks so this 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 are in different networks all right so that is because my subnet mask is 255255255252 therefore i can only have uh two physical computers or two physical devices so 10.0.0.1 is the uh, network sorry 10.0.0.0 is the network number or 10.0.0.1 is the router so this network's gateway is 10.0.0.1 and this uh, Raspberry Pi IP address for that network is 10.0.0.0.2 and finally, the broadcast address is 10.0.0.3. Same as for these addresses. It's uh, the next one, the 10.0.0.4 is the network number. 5 is the gateway in this network. 6 is the this, uh, machines, this Raspberry Pi IP address in this network. And of course, 7 is the uh, broadcast address. So same goes to these two also. All right. So... Now, as you can see, these are individual internet gateways. So I can, these, these routers, so in this case, 10.0.0.1, 10.0.0.5, 10.0.0.9, and 10.0.0.13, those are routers. Those are connected to the int internet, all right? So now I have this uh, machine that I am working right now, this Windows 7 machine, and another, virtual machine so let me open that up so that is so the password and we are in so so my this Windows machine and this machine are connected through the default internet route. All right. So this Raspberry Pi computer, uh, this Raspberry Pi is uh, configured to route all the traffic through this this network. All right. Ten zero zero two network. All right. So that is ten zero 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 is the network and ten zero zero one is the route uh, default gateway for this router two is this machine uh, rather this raspberry Pi, and three is the broadcast all right all the traffic routed 
through this network so let me show you what i mean by that all right so if i go to uh, command prompt here and if i trace route so let's uh, trace route to google's open dns here like this so this one as you can see the first entry is the gateway that is to this raspberry pi uh, this raspberry pi all right and the second one is 10.0.0.0.1 that is it routed to through this network and its gateway uh, is 10.0.0.1 so that is this IP alright others are uh, ISP internet providers uh, gateways alright so let's go ahead and control C to uh, close this up alright so that says this machine all right so let's do the same in this uh, other vm linux so again trace route again the same command all right okay let's see uh, what it does all right as you can see uh, this one is uh, identical to this that is the default gateway here all right so every computer in this uh, home network connects to this raspberry pi as its gateway all right so the first entry is always same in this one all right now look at the second one it is also 10.0.0.1 same here 10.0.0.1 so i want one of these machines to connect to internet via let's say this provider all right so this is uh, this network so this network has uh, another isp as its gateway so the route address for that gateway is 10005 all right so how are we going to do that so the process is uh, known as policy routing all right so we can accomplish this by uh, analyzing the source IP address of each computer all right so in this computer we have the IP address of uh, 523 13 252 all right so if I check the configuration so as you can see my this one's IP address is 523 13 252 whereas this one As you can see, it's 523.13.250. So we have uh, two distinct IP addresses here. So what we can do is, I'm going to uh, route this Linux machine's uh, internet traffic through this network. Uh, this network, all right. So ETH0 uh, colon zero network. All right, so now we should create a policy for that. All right, so how are we going to create a policy? All right, so uh, first uh, let's uh, let me go ahead and uh, remount my Raspberry Pi as a read write mode. So, so now it's mounted as. Uh, read right so I can edit the files in it now first we need to create a table all right so IP route table so we uh, it's like basically it's a category so we create a table and maps uh, IPs to that table so the very first thing is to create a tables all right so let's create a table so the uh, path to the file that we need to at the table is uh, so let's go to uh, let's use a uh, sudo vim the path is etc forward slash ip route 2 slash rt tables oops so rt tables all right so let's go ahead and click enter all right now so 
we already have some tables here so let me add another one so you you are one many different levels from here so uh, since i have already have 200 200 and 202 let's i'm going to add uh, two zero let's say nine all right this is test one all right now i'm going to save this that is uh, now we simply added the table that's all we have done all right now i need to specify uh, the ip so the ip of the particular machine should maps to that table all right so now i need to add basically i need to add the rule to that uh, table all right so i'm going to now, now the i'm now i'm going to uh, route this linux machine's traffic all right so i need to get its ip address so it is, it is 523 so let's see i simply copy this ip address all right so i'm going to use sudo ip rule add from I paste the IP now table is test one now there's nothing uh, the command didn't output anything that is because we have a successful command so if I use some other thing so as you can see uh, this table is wrong it is invalid now now I specify the table and I assign the IP, but this this table still don't know where to route the traffic uh, that comes from this IP or rather this table. What is the default uh, gateway for this table? All right, so now let's add the default gateway to that table. All right, all right. So here's how we do it. Again, you need to use sudo ip root add default via now the ips we need the ips all right so we need to get the uh, router's ip in this network so i know that the router ip in this uh, network is 10005 all right now this is 10 0, 0, 5. the device is now 10005 in each device let's if we see it is seen eth0 0, colon 0 all right so device is eth0 0, colon 0 again if i do this it will be wrong because uh, it seems like that we are going to add default gateway to everything all right so we need to specify which table so the table is test one so i'm going to use table test one all right so if i add invalid one so okay we have this uh, error now i added the ip address to this table and i added the default route to, uh, default gateway to that table to 10.0.0.5 so let's go ahead and check our uh, policy routing works so again i'm going to use trace route all right okay this one is same definitely you see now i am routing through 10.0.0.5 rather than 10.0.0.1 which was in the previously all right so if i control c this so if i go up as you can see earlier this one was 10.0.0.1 and this one was 10.0.0.5 alright so since this machine was uh, 250 uh, we didn't add anything to this machine so this uh, machine should uh, route through the same IP uh, same router without any change so let's see whether this one affected right this one didn't affect it That's, that is because we didn't specify any rule regarding this machine to our gateway all right 
So now uh, we have uh, successfully added policies routing um, regarding this these two computers. All right. Now this one uses the some other service providers network, whereas this one uses the default net uh, service providers network. All right. Now these two are going. Uh, these two are connecting to internet through different. Uh, uh, internet service provider so let's clarify that all right so if I go to www can you see me dot org you'll oops I think I'm missing all right so this one is uh, this is uh, the, our public address, public IP address assigned by our uh, service provider. All right. So if I see URL, this one. So if I see URL, HTTPS forward slash slash colon slash slash. Can you see me dot org? If I get the same IP address like this, then uh, policy routing didn't work. If I I should get a different IP apart from this one. All right, so let's go ahead and check that out. All right, as you can see, this one. So input type hidden name IP value is sixty one two hundred and forty five one six one ninety seven. All right, so if I get the same uh, page source here as the, so if I check for, so if I check for input type because hidden name IP, so this is that corresponds HTML tag all right so when we compare these two you will see these these IP addresses are definitely uh, differs that means now these two machines accessing internet through different uh, network service providers but we are in the same network we didn't uh, change anything in our client computers that means these two computers all right so that's how you do policy routing in Linux so um, in my Raspberry Pi computer I set up the uh, policy routing all right so you can add uh, any rule uh, any rule for this uh, policy mapping so for example uh, you can add the two rule also all right so two rule from this machine to this IP address use this uh, get route all right so you can add the, those kind of soft rules if you want all right so that's what i wanted to show you today so how to do policy routing and i hope you enjoyed the video if you like the video click the like button and also do not forget to subscribe to my channel that is fun text with hashan also do not forget to click the bell icon so you will be notified when i upload a new video so with that being said thank you for watching and thank you very much